வணக்கம் வெல்கம் டு திஸ் வீடியோ ஆன் பயோ மெக்கானிக்ஸ் இன் திஸ் வீக்ஸ் வீடியோ வி ஹவ் பின் லுக்கிங் அட் பயோ மெக்கானிக்ஸ் ஆஃப் சாஃப்ட் டிஷ்யூஸ் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வில் பி லுக்கிங் அட் காட்லேஜ் லெகமெண்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் டெண்டன்ஸ் ஸோ காட்லேஜ் கம்ஸ் இன் வேரியஸ் டைப்ஸ் இந்த மோஸ்ட் காமன் of the cartilages is hyaline and this is present on the surface of bones right it's more like a coating on the bone because bones when they are pulled by muscles they move relative to each other and you want to minimize you know the amount of friction so there is an amount of uh, cartilage that is present on the articulating surfaces of bones right then you have fibrous cartilage cartilage that is more fibrous than the other types of cartilage this is called fibro cartilage or the fibrous cartilage these have a crucial role to bear loads load bearing cart cartilage this is fibrous cartilage also bear loads importantly or very crucially they are present and found in intervertebral discs now you realize that they have the important function of load bearing right then you have elastic cartilage elastic cartilage is the flexible type of cartilage these are present on the external ear right and you stash in tube so intervertebral discs are composed of fibrous cartilage so its important function is being achieved by this tissue type or by the cartilage we know what is its important function we saw while discussing the biomechanics of spine if you do not remember pause this video go back to that video watch it for a few minutes and then you will be able to realize what it is that we are discussing then we have articular cartilage that is having the crucial function of transmitting forces across joints so it distributes articular forces and minimizes the concentration of stress a crucial function because if uh, stress is concentrated this might lead to failure of the biological material right and also it provides a smooth surface for relative gliding of joint surfaces so there is gliding that can happen at the joint immediately what comes to my mind is the gliding that happens between the femur and the tibia fibula right at the knee joint what happens at the knee joint there is gliding that happens between the femur and the bones of the lower leg right something that we discussed we are discussing the statics of the knee joint it turns out that its structure is quite heterogeneous and so of course it is composed of hyaluronic acid and composed of type 2 collagen and there is water and then there is gag in between proteoglycans and gag and there is no simple straight forward structure it's quite heterogeneous and it turns out that as the depth of the cartilage changes the structure also changes for example in the superficial zone you have cartilage that is structured like this then you have the middle zone where it is quite heterogeneous then you have the deep zone where it is attached to the cancellous bone to the bone itself right and uh, this is the calcified uh, it's mentioned here this is the calcified cartilage okay that is the calcified cartilage so the so when you say cartilage this whole thing is called cartilage but then property of the material changes with depth why because the structure of the material structure of the the proteins within this 
tissue changes with depth. So, everywhere at uh, different scales, we are looking at structure function relationships. Here, we are looking at you know structure function relationships at the micro and nano level. Then we move on to ligaments. These are tough tissues that are fibrous. These are fibrous, tough bands of connective tissue. Right? They connect and hold together bones. Remember, we discussed when we discussed the knee joint, we discussed the crucial role performed by the cruciate ligaments and the collateral ligaments. Remember? The important role is to maintain joint stability right, and minimize the possibility of dislocation. Remember, if dislocation happens, it can be an extraordinarily painful process to recover. So, any sports injuries that may happen, also in general injuries that may happen that uh, result that cause where or tear of uh, ligaments or traumatic tear of uh, ligaments can result in or may result in uh, dislocation, so, which involves a painful recovery process. A slightly elastic, right, with uh, a greater amount of elastin when compared to tendons and compared with tendons, tendons have more collagen when compared with uh, uh, ligaments. So, there is a lot of uh, elastin in ligaments when compared with tendons. Okay. So, they are a bit more or actually quite a bit more uh, elastic when compared with tendons. Then we have tendons, these are very strong, flexible and fibrous tissue, connective tissue and its function is to attach muscles to bones. What attaches bones to bones? Ligaments. What attaches muscles to bones? Tendons. Okay. They are essentially very good transmitters of force. Muscles develop the force and tendons transmit this force to the bones. Okay. So, they can withstand high tension and high amounts of stress. They facilitate movement by force transmission. When the muscles contract, they transmit this force to the bones and cause what it appears as movements. We restrict our attention to tendons for the rest of the discussion on soft tissues. Mostly, we will be discussing a lot of detail of tendons. So, we take tendons as the example of soft tissue and we discuss the mechanics of tendons in the rest of the classes. It turns out that tendons are organized in a hierarchical structure. So, there is a there is a strict you know structural hierarchy where fibers are bundled to form microfibrils, subfibrils and then fibrils. So, collagen fibers they are bundled together to form microfibril. Look at the scales at which we are working. At one and a half nanometer that is where the tropocollagen we saw this. Right. We saw this while we were discussing collagen in the previous class. The scale that you are looking at is units of nanometers. Then you have bundles of these fibrils, bundles of collagen that formed a microfibril. It is called microfibril, but it is actually in the nano scale. It is about you know units of uh, nanometer to tens of nanometer. Right. Then you have many of these microfibrils put together that form subfibril that is uh, having the scale of that is having the size of about tens of nanometers. Then you have fibrils whose size is anywhere between tens of nanometers to hundreds of nanometers. Now, when you are discussing hundreds of nanometers, you are actually getting closer to the micrometer right because uh, uh, 500 nanometer is half a micron. Is it not? Then you have many of these fibrils put together that form a fascicle this is actually in the micro scale. Right. This size is actually in 
tens of microns to hundreds of microns. Then you have tendon itself right, whose size, whose dia is about, about you know hundreds of microns to yes, the whole tendon might be having a size of you know uh, centimeter squared. But uh, you know when you are looking at sizes, you are looking at hundreds of microns to millimeter scale. Right. So, this bundling of collagen fiber to microfibril to subfibril to fibril to fascicle to tendon is very similar to the hierarchical structure in a muscle fiber, right. in a muscle. You have muscle, then you have muscle fascicle, then you have muscle fibril, myofibrils, then you have in the end like you have tropocollagen in the tendons, you have sarcomere in the muscle. This is what is the sarcomere and what is its function in the muscles module, remember. Okay. Fundamental difference, although both ligaments and tendons, both of them have collagen, a fundamental difference between ligaments and uh, tendons in terms of uh, their function is dictated due to the structure. Right. Bundles of collagen fibers are more parallel in tendon than in ligaments. This is why elastin dominates more in ligaments than in tendons. This is why elasticity is more in ligaments. So, it is not merely the composition, but also the structure as you can see this is uh, it, you can just visually see you know these are less parallel and these are more parallel. So, the structure of the collagen fibers. So, it is not merely the composition, but also the structure or the way in which these are arranged that matters. Right. So, in this video we looked at cartilage, we looked at various types of cartilage, fibrous cartilage, articular cartilage, we looked at ligaments and uh, how ligaments are more elastic when compared with tendons and then we looked at or we began our discussion on tendons. Tendons we will discuss at much greater length in the future videos. Right. So, with this we come to the end of this video. Thank you very much for your attention.